Yeah, it's dropping off the four now. Uh-oh, that's a big one. Oh my God, that's a first cast? First cast on the spinnerbait. <laughs> no freaking way. No freaking Bradley. Oh, shit. Right here in the morning, actually about to go get some batteries in the boat. As you guys know, we've been having all sorts of problems lately, just with everything. Um, broke my camera. That, that camera's toast. Tried to buy a new one yesterday. They were out of stock. We're going to be fishing the Mid River today. That's what we're going to start calling it, Bradley. We're fishing the Mid River. Um, there's a tournament tomorrow, so we're practicing today for it. So today's a big day. Um, today's going to determine where we need to go tomorrow, if we're going to even fish it, uh, see if the big ones are biting. But we're going to go out there, give it our best shot, hopefully find some big fish. It's going to be a good day. We're going to go inside, get some drinks, figure that all out, get some gas, go get batteries, go catch the big fish. All right, guys, just got to the boat ramp. We actually stopped by. We had to put new batteries in the boat, as I was talking about. Um, spent about a G, spent a thousand dollars on freaking batteries. We got the um, North Star AGMs in there. Um, we have five batteries total in my boat because I'm running the big birds. When I got that 16 inch, I've talked to a lot of people and they're like, man, you got to put an extra battery in this boat. So, um, yeah, we're all good to go on that. I think the batteries are all good. We're all charged up. We and I think we're going to be ice. good today. What's up? We forgot the ice. Yeah, we forgot the ice in the cooler. That's going to be a hot one. But like I said, pre fishing day, we're going to rock it today. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. This is pure bass fishing on this channel, guys. That's all we do. And uh, I'm sure you guys enjoy, enjoy the videos if you're new to the channel. But um, we're going to go ahead and get started, unhook the boat, back her in the water, and start finding some fish today. Here we go, boys. Kick and mobile, backing us in. Got old intern Brad backing us in in today's video. Let's go ahead and get this rocking and rolling. I'm excited. We got to find some fish today. I'm going to tell you that. We're going to be fishing new bodies of water, new areas on the river today. Um, that we haven't fished before so excited about that should be a good day. Hopefully these batteries are gonna run good, too um, But we should be good. It's gonna be fun What are you doing back there boy got the old poles down got the rub guard up here. We're good to go We're ready for blast off today intern Brad you ready today? I mean, we just gotta catch 15 pounds. It's no biggie. Practice. Practice makes perfect. So, let's get see. our life jackets, guys. See first. Get a life jacket. I'm a big fan of not dying. Yeah. Because of dumb things. Wear a life jacket. Save lives. What in the world is going on here? We got a fresh tree down. We got a very fresh tree. That must have happened like, like last night. <laughs> Oh yeah, actually, that, that actually probably happened this week. All right, here we are to get it started. I'm gonna start off with a chowder donk. I'm, I'm really just hunting for them big fish today. I wanna, I wanna see how we can catch them big ones. It's actually, the river's flooded, or it's a lot higher than it was. I wouldn't say flooded, but as you guys can tell, these banks right here, all the water got up in that grass. Now that might be a good way to get some good bites thrown around that. I'm gonna throw a chatter donk a good bit. Oh my God, that was so bad. Good way to start it. That crank bite's been nasty. If you can find the right stuff. I think it'd be a way to catch a really big fish. So we're just gonna cover water back in this first little spot. See if we can find some good fish. They're gonna be all up in this new vegetation. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. You gotta get way up in there. I, if I would assume the water got up like this you know you gotta get up around them tree yeah fluke might not be a bad idea at all i'm honestly gonna get one cut off with a flipping stick <laughs> one ounce weight 50 pound test breed I 
<laughs> like I'd flip in that. I'm talking. No. Oh. <laughs> no freaking way. No freaking. Bradley. He just doubled up, baby. Did you see him almost take the rod out of my hand? I wasn't reeling the bait. He just like literally started <laughs> whistling my rod. Okay. 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 He's a good fish. He's a good fish. Yeah, I wouldn't mind these the other day. <laughs> you thought he was big, didn't you? He, he hammered it good, didn't he? Mm -hmm. See, there's no mistaking on that type of rig. Look at that, guys. Literally, we double up on our first fish of the day. I was watching Bradley and I had my crankbait paused and it was floating. What I think happened is the bait was floating up and the fish grabbed it. All of a sudden my rod was just going. These are nice. These are two good keepers. Yeah. Oh, he did a little trick shot. I ain't gonna lie. That was the most messed up bite I've had on a crankbait ever. I was literally watching you, dude. And the rod just goes, Vroom. he did it all himself. He saw that bite. That bite was legit. Yeah, that was cool. But that fish that I just caught, dude, I didn't even, I, <laughs> he literally hooks at himself. Like my rod just started taking off and I'm like, what? I mean, you don't, one ounce, like it's going through most things. yeah, you don't got to worry about it either. You got braid, you, you flip over trees as long as just the goal is when you hook them, you got to keep that rod up and reel. That's the only thing with that big rig like that. As long as you keep that rod up and you reel and crank that fish in, I don't care how big he is. So I did it right. Yeah, you gotta get them out. But if you if you try to, I'm talking the moment you hook set, dude. You're no setting the rod down. You there, the rod you down gone. you need to reel as much as you can and get that fish out of that cover. Every time I get a bite, I... no, biggin. Okay, a little dinker. That's not actually a dinker. Yeah. That's a keeper. I got three. I don't really like, like fishing fish. like this before. Riley got him another one on that big flipping rig. Golly. Nice. They've been thump thumping it good. Oh. Oh. I mean, like, they're on there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. The bait's just small. No, uh -huh. First cast? First cast on the spinner bait. Yeah. Drag was on Oh, my God. It's time to leave. That's a good one too. Doubled up back to back, baby. This is kicking their best. We already got a, we got over a limit. Yeah. Huh? Or, is that Brad. five fish? That's five fish. Intern Brad with a fish. All right. This is what I want to do. I don't want to fish. Back. No. I I want to go back there, all the way to the back. That's what I said. Bro, they're gonna be up on this stuff. Though, right? Yeah. Don't don't. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> don't cast anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I jacked that son too. <laughs> he thumped it, didn't he? Yeah. Are these the six inch ones? The hooks? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got the book. Bradley, why are you casting? Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right, intern Brad, too many monsters. <laughs> intern Brad's had about seven too many monsters. We already caught six fish. Oh, look at this. We're not supposed to be catching them, Bradley. Put them back. Let them swim because. Jack this bait up, bro. Spinner bait done for. Well, that's. Spinner bait's done for. Remember last night? That was a good. That was a good. We had uh, a good conversation at like three in the morning. Yeah, me and brother were talking. I told, I was like texting them all. All that was like, I'm thinking this. We're thinking this. We were thinking about the fish late last night. Yeah, don't cast right here anymore. Bro, they're literally stacked. And it goes that way. Yeah. This is the spot. Oh, dude, this is where we're starting. Oh. Bradley, what are you doing? Oh that's a God. huge one. Bradley, that's like a four pounder. Oh my yes, God, that's a freak. Baby. That's a four pounder. Can I get a picture? <laughs> Bradley, stop. Dude, we got, that, that's another fish that we ain't gonna catch tomorrow. That's a four pounder. Can you get my picture? Yeah, I can get your picture, but. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Bradley. I just said don't cast over there, and guess what he does? He casts a spinner eight 10 times over there. Five times. Bradley. Yes, sir, baby. We making this video happen today. <laughs> Brad's on the track. All right, Brad, calm down. Yeah, don't throw the spinner bait anymore. I was literally coming over this tree just to drop in the middle of it to see if it. Brad just. Bro, I don't even think we should fish the lake. Don't throw a moving bait. You need to be shaking some off. I, like I said, I want to go back here because it could be like this is the thing. I don't want to come here during the tournament 
and then catch this, you know, have to go all the way back there for nothing. But then again, if they're biting that good, they should be biting there. But Bro, they are literally munching this basic. Like, I'm literally slow rolling it right above the bottom. <laughs> yeah, they're biting. Let's just drop the bag. Yeah, you want to idle us back there? Nah. Well, what are you I'm throwing? I'm good. They're eating that spinner bait. Oh my god, look at this. Come off my rod. Please. Oh my god. All right, let's leave. I'm serious. Actually, idle to the back. <laughs> to Bradley. I couldn't even get him off the rod, bro. I wasn't. I didn't even hook bro, set bro, him. Just give me some. Give me, give me some for the video. Give me some for the video, baby. Is that like fish number eight, bro? Dude, like, we gotta calm we gotta down. Leave. Yeah, we gotta There's calm. Dude, this there. fish is. Oh my god, look at the water temp, dude. That cooled off the water. That rain. They're munching. Like we, we just gotta leave. We might as well just go. I, I do want to go in the back though. These trees are good. We don't need to cast on these anymore. Okay, Brad. I think they like this heavier weight because it falls faster. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Did you see me trying to get them off? Are you shook? You were trying Bro, to. Bro, I, I never hooked that. He was just like, until he got down in there and I was like, I ain't breaking this rig off over a fish. All right, let's idle to the back because, like I said, I want to look at that. Bro, don't. That's dummy, stupid. Yeah, that's stupid. So guys, we just came to the back. Not the the very back is right ahead of us, and we're about to the quarter point before we reach the back. So we're gonna try right here, just see if we can get a few bites. Then yeah. once we get a bite, we're just we're gonna go all the way to the back, try that. If we get a bite there, we're we're out. We already caught way too many fish in here. I wasn't expecting this, honestly. The waters rose, and I don't think people could get back in here. And there's actually deep holes. This is 12 foot of water. This is juice. Huh? Oh my god. Yeah, I don't want to catch anymore. I took the wrong one. They just hooked their self, honestly. Alright, well, we are done fishing in here. What's up, guys? So, we're going to go over what we're doing today. We're actually kind of punching slash flipping. We're throwing a one ounce weight. I like to use two bobber stops and a three aught six cents hook the craw because we're kind of that's yeah that's not the best it's not bait. the ideal bait honestly even a stroker would be a lot better yeah. on there just because it's but the prawn the, the prawn prawns what the, see if what we, we got need. some if we got some we need to try those yeah but i'm throwing on a heavy rod and it's ready for two ounces i'm throwing on 65 pound braid with the dial high speed reel i think it's, it's an eight to one flipping in that thick cover where traditionally you couldn't get a texas rig so you were punching through that little mat layer Feel them tug on it and just ripping them out of Talk it. Talk about um the fall of the bait, because I think the fall of the bait is a big key. Yeah, so the fall of the bait is you want to pair your weight up. So like when you're throwing a one ounce, you're getting a really fast fall compared to that three ounce that we three eighths ounce that we traditionally throw on the main river and around. Typically, you get a real faster fall rate and it makes the fish react when it hits the bottom because it's just zooming right by their face. So pretty much what Brad was saying, getting up in that stuff where you can't get a Texas rig, like you got these bushes right here and you can literally, I mean, Bradley probably thinks I'm crazy for doing that, but you, nah, you can really get up in those trees and in those areas that big line. Yeah, you normally couldn't get in when you're when you're throwing braid like this. And pretty much this is the only downside. And and the only downside about this is honestly that speed crawl. Like the speed crawl is not meant for this. Yeah. Is there any prawns? prawns? Yeah. Prawn the prawn, way. see this is I'll I'll, I'll tell you guys exactly why the prawn would be a lot better than this. Oh my goodness. What? Right there, prom about six cents. If you want to get a discount, but let me explain why. So, so pretty much, this is a beaver bait. Yeah, the I reason you want a beaver up. bait. So all right, we got a we got a zoom speed crawl and we got the prawn next to next to each other. The reason you want this beaver bait is the way it's shaped. Okay, so when that goes down in that stuff, it's going to go down a lot smoother rather than a big crawl with a bunch of big pinchers. The bait's designed to go through stuff like that. See how the head's shaped and then see how the tail's tapered off? So this bait's gonna go there, go through that stuff a lot better than your standard crawl. So if you're like flipping, if you're punching some thick stuff, I prefer a beaver style bait, which this prawn is. Um, the one thing I love about the prawn is that it's actually more of a finesse beaver. Um, and I know that sounds a little weird. You don't really hear that, but in my opinion, I call it more of a finesse beaver just because it has a, honestly a smaller profile than some of the beavers out. And I'm a big fan of that because 
a lot of the times a beaver will, won't get bit a ton, but usually when it does, it's a big fish. But the good thing about the prawn, it's a good middle hybrid. So it's not too big of a beaver. It's right there in the middle. So you rig it up just like that, pretty basic. And then pretty much we're flipping around some of these cypress trees, which normally I wouldn't do with a big weight like this. You just want like a smaller finesse Texas rig, but they're eating it. And what we were talking about is the rate of fall with that one ounce weight. So pretty much when you're lifting your rod, that bait is dinging all the way down on the bottom instantly. So that's the good thing about that. So you're flipping up there, the bait goes right to the bottom rather than that slow fall. And I think that's really what's triggering those bass today. Knowing that they were a little active eating that spinner bait, they're a little more active than usual. They're not slow. On what? On a fluke? Yeah, you saw them schooling bass. They might be small. But um, anyways, what I was talking about, just flipping in there, letting it hit the bottom. That's that quick fall. And I really think that's what's triggering this fish. I don't know if it's just the lake that we went into, guys. That's how it was at one tournament. You know, we just found one place that was really, we found more fish in other places. But you find that one area where there's just so many fish condensed. And like, these big trees. See how quick you can move with this thing too? Throw it in there, give it a couple hops. The fish ain't taken out of your hand. Reel it back in. Pitch it again up in there on the different angle of the tree. Do the same thing, repeat. So then we got the stump right here. Flip right up on that stump, let it hit the bottom. Pop it a couple times. All right, fish doesn't have it, reel it back in. Flip onto the next piece of cover. And keep doing that. So guys, we talk about when it when it floods and the water comes up and the bass come up on the bank and eat all the insects. You won't believe what we just found. You see all those things on the water that looks like feathers? Those are all caterpillars. That is unreal. I remember probably stocking up on oh. the bass or coming up here and eating them. Dude, that's crazy. Those are all caterpillars though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's going, well, it's just going to be leading up to the storm, so it's going to be a little... It's just these fish get so far up in these trees. Like, you almost can't get to them. Unless you're catching the ones cruising on the edge. So this is the thing, like a lot of them fish will be pushed up, but then you're gonna have those fish cruising the edge that are eating those bluegill popping. You know, so there's bluegill popping at the edge. Like there'd be bass out there just cruising. Just like that. Look how he ate it. It's not slacking my line. Mm -hmm. See, up in these trees, guys, it, the problem is these fish get so far up in the trees. If you notice the difference between that bank and everything else, it's open water all the way to the bank. Therefore, we could get our bait up in there. So these fish, you know, it, it just rained. These fish are getting way up in this stuff, so you got to get your bait back in there. And what's happening is you're either going to catch them way back up in there. I started fish jump, too. Or you're gonna catch them on the edge because we've seen bluegill popping along the edge of these willow willow trees. So what those bass would do, those fish that are roaming the edge, eating the bluegill, that's, that's another great way of catching them up in this stuff. I'm just wondering if there's fish back in this stuff. We're wearing a foot of water, so it deepened up a little bit. Yeah, it's dropping off the four now. Uh-oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Yep, right in the back. Jesus Christ. That's a good fish. That's a really good fish for the river, guys. You'd be surprised. We just came all the way back in this spot. Didn't have any bites, but we were just thinking all the way in the back. Right there. That's exactly where I thought he's gonna be. That's a good bass. One of the best today. 
Second best. Golly. You got one on the bank? Yeah. I gotta see it. Watch out for snakes, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh my god, Bradley. Yeah, it's got natural water pouring in here. Oh my gosh. Can I catch one bank fishing the river? So if you guys notice, got this little creek coming in, pouring natural water in the back of this place. We can't get back here in the boat. That's the only problem. I can't get out during the tournament. I don't think so, at least. <laughs> There's some froggy and punchy looking stuff back there too. Looks so good. I think the line is kind of creepy. This is a low key kind of sketch. So clear in there, oh my god. Oh my gosh, he almost jerked the rod out of my hand. Oh my god. That's crazy. I gotta catch one bank fish in the river. That's an accomplishment. There's one right over there. I didn't stick him, he just about pulled the rod out of my hand. I don't think he's big. Right there, yes. Dang it. Oh my God. This is actually kind of ballsy for me to do. I don't really think much about it. I'm just like, I guess I'm going on the bank. I like your athletic. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh my God. <laughs> That's a five pounder. That's why you punch him that. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't even get the GoPro on until a second ago. Yes, Look at baby. This. On the flipping stick. This is why you throw a flipping stick. Oh my god. You just dropped it in on that. Oh my god. Dude, that's a giant, dude. Bro. That's your biggest fish on the river in a long time. In a long time. Dude, that's a big. That's I know the game plan, big. boys. That's why you punch that's mats. That's big, pump, baby. Let's go win this tournament tomorrow. We need two of these. Yo, that's a big. You know why? You know why? Mm. You got that big bass energy, baby. Okay. I'm, I would, I would say something, but we're not. See, <laughs> see, you know, Bradley got that big bass. <laughs> All right, bro. Get my pick with this thing so we can do it. All right. All right, Bradley. Put him in the water. That really sucks that that's one more big that we <laughs> we aren't going to catch tomorrow, but there's got to be more. There's got to be more. Give me some on that. That's a good big fish. Big bass energy, baby. It's a good fish. Bro. Two fish in here for about seven and a half pounds. That's uh. Bro, that, that seriously took us over the top today. Yeah. I should get much. There's a turtle. You see that? <laughs> Dude, I slung his butt right in the corner of the bottom of the boat. Jackie. I'm so sorry, bud. That was swam off perfectly fine. Dude, that fish. Look, you can even see where I skirted him on the floor.